question you should be asking is not if I'm too old to learn to code, because you could learn to code at any age if you really wanted to. The question should be, are you going to be able to get a job that you're satisfied with starting late? Hey guys, welcome to Coding Over 30. My name is Paul, and in today's video, I want to answer one question. Is it impossible to learn how to code after 30 or am I too old to learn how to code in my 30s? Well to put things in perspective I'm 38 and I started coding about five years ago and I'm just going to give you three tips to kind of help you think through the process uh, before you decide to jump in. Number one, should you even learn to code? A lot of people think like wait that's a dumb question of course I want to learn to code but do you have the characteristics that are required to be able to be able to be successful in this endeavor like number one are you willing to sit in front of the computer for many many hours on banging your head against the table yes banging your head against the table because you will be stuck you will have times where you just don't know the answer and it's up to you to figure it out either to go on google stack overflow ask friends that are in the same field whatever if you're not able to sit for long periods of time and solve problems, this is going to be very hard for you. The second part of this um, tip is that you have to understand that you'll never know enough. So you will have to continue to keep learning every day. If you can't commit to learning every day and just being and living and breathing, web development, coding, whatever it is that you're doing, you're not going to be successful because new things come up, things change, and you have to stay on top. So be prepared to never stop learning. For me, that's exciting. I really like that. I don't want to be in a place where I'm stagnant. I always want to have opportunity to continue learning new things, to continue raising my value. The second question that you should be asking yourself is, are you doing this strictly for the money? If you're just doing this because you want to bring your family uh, to a better place or you are able to make a better living, understand that even though programming pays well, the road to get there is very difficult and you might actually be better off doing something else. A lot of people don't tell you this, but I just want to be honest with you. Like I said, I'm 38. It's not easy. It's very hard. I'll tell you how I was able to break into the field and I'm still on my way up. I'm not where I want to be, just so you know that. You know, don't think like I'm making like $150,000 right now. The point is, it's very difficult. I will tell you my other videos how I did it and how that might be the best way for you to do it, especially being over 30, especially if you're 35, 36, and what avenues you have, but I'll save that for another video. But in this video, remember, if you're just doing it for the money, it's again, the commitment, the work that it requires to be a successful programmer, it's not worth it if that's the only drive, right? Like I said in my previous tip, you know, if you're not willing to sit on a computer, if you're not willing to constantly learn, right? This second part of it for the money, it makes no sense because you're gonna hate the journey. So if you hate the journey, it's not going to be worth it. So you better love the journey. You better know that you're doing it because you want to, not because you want to make the money. And the third thing that a lot of people uh, realize is that, well, I have this defeatist um, you know, attitude like, I'm too old. I'll never learn this. There's so many young guys that are more qualified. That's true. And that might be the case. And you might not be the most successful programmer ever. But you just have to be good enough to get work and get paid for it. And the whole thing I want to tell you to think about is that no matter where you are, just think wherever you are right now, the job you have, what is the 10 year or five year or 20 year like future in your current job? If you're not improving every year, if you're not getting raises every year, if you're not moving up, if you see that if you work in the same company for 20 years and you're still in the same place from the first year you started, it's already not worth it. So taking a chance and learning to code, learning to program, side hustle or a possibility to enter a new career definitely makes sense. A lot of people ask me like, Paul, why do you spend so much time studying? Why do you constantly do it? Because I want to put as much of my effort to guarantee my success. And success is not guaranteed. But the whole point is the place that I'm in, I know there's no future for me. 
So taking the extra time studying, I'm not wasting time. I'm building new skills to something that will help me grow in the future. And so with that being said, if you are stuck in a dead end job, you're not happy with where you are, it doesn't have to be coding, it doesn't have to be programming, but just start learning on the side, not on your free time, make it a priority. You come from home, work from home, you put your kids to bed, and then you study two, three hours. So you wake up early and you study two, three hours. So make it daily to whatever field that you want to get into because staying at the job that you hate, that it's not giving you future, it's not worth it. So for me, that was more than enough to make this commitment and switch. And there's many benefits of learning to program, learning to code. I enjoy it, I really like it, and like I said, number one, make sure that you're willing to do the work and you know that you could sit in front of the computer struggling for hours and hours on looking for a solution. You should be comfortable with the suffer. <laughs> I'm mean, just being honest with you guys. Number two, don't do it for the money. It's not worth it for the money. It's too much work to get the type of money that you think of getting, and you might not even get it. It's very competitive, you really have to work hard. And number three, Look, like anything in life worth pursuing, it takes hard work and dedication. People that tell you in three months, six months, you're gonna finish a boot camp, get a job, that's not necessarily true. Most of the people that do get jobs maybe had prior experience, like five years learning to code on their own, then they went to boot camp for six months, then they got out and then got a job. But the truth is, you're gonna have to work hard and what I would tell you, is don't just think about learning to code. Of course, learn how to do the things that you want to get paid for, but build your own personal brand and build your own business. Have that entrepreneur mindset. That's what's gonna help you, put you ahead of everybody else. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first video for this channel. If you guys like, of course, share, subscribe, ask questions, leave uh, them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Like I said, we're in this together. I'm still working to get to where I want to get to. So thank you for watching and have a best day.